Hey everybody, so I just want to like make a statement or make my stance known because this has been like a big topic and a big issue going on lately in YouTube and then it's like even expanded beyond YouTube. So it, this is about like um, my support of Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. So in the past, I... I considered myself like fans of Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, but like with what everything that's coming out lately, I just want to say that I cannot and do not support those two people anymore. So, um, I was just kind of shocked and disgusted when I found out like more about Shane's background, like his history with YouTube. Like, I only got into him like right after he started doing like I guess the documentaries kind of like what Tati was saying like she knew him for the documentaries like um when he did the series with Graveyard Girl, Bunny, Rachel Meyer um that got my attention because like I've I remember watching her like back when she just barely like she was on the verge of like hitting a hundred thousand like I remember when she used to have the DIY t-shirt videos because that's what she kept coming up when I was like looking for those videos like I was doing a lot of those um shirt cutting stuff and I was just like I wanted inspiration and see like how everybody was doing all their little shirt cuttings I, I forgot it had like a specific name and there's this one guy in particular who I think he if I remember correctly he was associated with like the Ed Hardy brand and he would like do like the cutting while people were wearing like the t-shirts and she had some videos about that too so I, that's how I found her um and then I realized like as I watched her videos she and I had a lot of similarities and I think that's because we grew up like we're like the same age or around the same age and we grew up like and in, into like <laughs> words um we were into the same things growing up let's put it that way like you know just pop culture stuff like that so I I vibe with her in a lot of ways but there's also ways where I'm just kind of like annoyed with her anyway but that's not what this is about so well kind of sorry but anyway so she did the series with Shane and I that I thought that was really cool to like see like inside more behind the scenes of her life since she's come up and then she's had her downs but then from that I found him doing the video with Molly Burke which I didn't know a lot about her but I kind of knew about her and which she just a little background she is legally blind she has retinitis pigmentosa which is what my dad has she has the same eye condition that my dad has so like I thought that was really interesting um kind of got me into her and then watching him with her and like him learning behind, like about her life and everything and I just like that just like I was like that's so cool because like I like watching her like I see the similarities of like how she goes through life compared to like how my dad goes through life and like you know it's like things that I, I can kind of relate to I mean I don't know personally but I know like being there and having to assist and help out and like growing up and seeing this my whole life like it was just interesting to see other perspectives of it as well so and then from there of course he did like the Jeffree Star stuff which we'll get into that in a moment and then the Jake Paul thing just in Tana Mojo but um it was just interesting to watch okay so I knew he had done like some sketch stuff like I remember coming across his videos over the years and seeing little bits and pieces but I never really got into them because like I, I just personally I'm just not into like the skits and sketches in general there's certain people who like say for instance um Superwoman Lily Singh like I I would I liked her videos where she did like with her parents and everything in the family and all those little skits and sketches and just I never really like ventured into his other stuff like I would watch I watched some of his older videos but it just wasn't vibing with them like didn't really care about the humor like I noticed that he had that particular kind of like dirty humor um bathroom humor a lot too and just not into that but I never really got into like older stuff and then things started coming out um just 
I, I don't want to like go into too many details, but I will say that there's this other drama involved person who I, I, I don't even know the background with that, but a particular person who does drama videos on the regular, just the whole issue with like a police and stirring up drama over a police investigation with Shane, but he had posted this video, it was like a compilation of older videos that Shane had done, like in addition to the whole racist remark, or the whole blackface, has Shane actually shown, I, I still don't even know the full scope of things, but I know like he had done some blackface stuff, which it's just, why? Like I don't understand why, I, and people use this excuse that they don't know about. Like how can you not know about like blackface being like a horrible thing? Like. I mean, I've, in classes in school, I've always, and just in general, just from watching stuff over the years, like, known that that's a big no-no. You don't play around with that. But, anyway, there's, like, the, this video that this person had made, a compilation of, like, this thing, this YouTube thing, series or whatever that Shane had been part of, that involved a puppet who the puppet represented like an eight year old girl. And it was just watching the material, the content, it was disgusting. I, people are like, it's just a puppet, what's the big deal? It's the, the material, the content, the fact that somebody came up with this and that other people were going along with like making haha -ha funny jokes and humor, finding humor in it, it's just, I. Just, I don't understand it. And that YouTube allowed this for so long. Like, they're quick to censor all this other stuff nowadays. Why was that allowed? It was like 10 years ago, but why was that content allowed and that it was like being praised? Like, it was celebrated. I'm just, so that, regardless of what happened with this whole toddy situation james charles dramageddon that alone is just sickening like you can't i i don't i definitely cannot support a person like that like i feel sick that i ever thought like i, mean, I know he doesn't do that now but that is within him and I know that that stems from something deeper that he has gone through, his own horror that he has gone through, but still, how was that even okay? Like, I just, mm, I don't know, that, just that whole situation's messed up. I don't know, I mean, I have found myself going back and watching some of his, like, documentary stuff, especially with the the Jeffree Star stuff and trying to match it up to what's been coming out now with all these allegations being made and no like what's come out about like what was going on during those time frames and that's interesting to watch if you think about it and try to like analyze it but that's a whole other issue so then there's the Jeffree Star thing I I don't even know where to begin with that one. Um, so I knew that he had used a really bad word in reference to somebody years and years and years ago. I think it was during his MySpace years. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's when that came out. The video was filmed. And then he, when he made his whole apology thing about what had happened, I... I didn't know about the other, like, he referenced some of the other stuff, but I didn't know the details of it, and I'm still not sure, but it just, you know, you can claim that you're not a racist and still be racist, okay? So, I, and, but when he addressed, like, that video of him using that horrible slur, 
like I was kind of like quick to forgive him because he was referencing like it in the video it showed he was referring to a white person which that doesn't excuse or make it okay for him to use the word but at that time I didn't really pin him as a racist and but then all this other stuff that's been coming out I'm just kind of like mm, like dude you, you mm, 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 don't even try and you know like while this whole Black Lives Matter thing has been like coming up and everything and he at first he was all like like Black Lives Matter let's support and then now that all this other stuff has come out he's gone quiet like right before he went totally quiet he was still like posting like I guess he was posting or re re posting people who were using his products I think think that's what I was going at at that point I didn't follow him I'm like okay this is not looking good I'm not I'm not vibing here anymore so and then I thought it was just kind of like tacky for him to only be like reposting stuff that dealt with his own pro that profited him that benefited him in some way and he dropped the whole black lives matter thing like like why why all of a sudden you're you're going to stop supporting the cause uh, this should be the time that you should be supporting the cause more than any time like i mean you should really be like if you really feel like the cause is a worthy cause like you want people to think you think wouldn't you be like supporting it even more so <sighs> i don't know but then now all this stuff coming out about the manipulation and allegate well allegations of manipulation and the jealousy and the control and I, I find it very telling that he has this whole that whole not bothered attitude like are you really on that high of a horse like you can't be bothered to like address what's going on like nothing and then there's the whole thing about like well if he's really Shane's friend he'll stick up for his friend yeah where are you buddy like and then all these people who are still standing them like especially Jeffrey stands like do these people not realize that he doesn't care about them all he cares about is money like you know that's the only reason he I don't know and for a while, like, you know, I was ready to be like, I was ready to dismiss Morphe, but now that they've come out and made the statement that they're separating themselves from Jeffree Star, I'm like, okay, I, I haven't totally dismissed them yet. Here's the thing, I do have Jeffree Star products through Morphe, and I've recently, in a recent video, I've even shown them, um, though, I, yeah that's like that last Ulta haul I did so going forward I will still use those products I mean I I own them now but I will not be like I will be not like what's the word um I can't think of what I'm trying to say basically if I use them in some way I'm not going to name them like I may name other products that I've used but if I'm going to I guess I'm not going to reference them um so I mean I feel like once you already paid for something or you already own something like you know to not use I mean I guess that's really a personal choice if you feel that strongly against using it but they've already profit he's already profited off of it if I decide not to use it I mean he still made the profit off of it in some way so that's not going to take that away but by not referencing it like by not you know not giving it the credit due or whatever like that's the way of like you know not supporting him um so that's how I feel about that um instead I'm maybe like if in the future I mean like I even did a tutorial well not a tutorial thing but I think it was in the one of the videos I did it was like a get ready with me but it wasn't really get ready with me it was just me applying eyeshadow I think it was the one 
that little Richard video I recently did. <laughs> Like, I've just used these products in recent videos. Like, not only did I get some in recent videos, I also used some in recent videos. Totally unrelated to one another. But, so, and going forward in the future, I'll probably just be like, like, if I'm doing a tutorial for any reason, <laughs> I'll be like, just name the color and be like, you can use the color this shade. <laughs> like, similar shade. Whatever. Anyway. So that's how I feel about that, you know, if I, again, I don't foresee myself supporting him, but if for some reason, you know, things may change if he comes, I don't know. At this point, I feel like there's no redemption for him or for either, especially for Shane, but I, yeah, Jeffrey, and you know what, that really disappoints me. I mean, he's been like, like for both of them, but cause you have this you feel like you know a person even though you really don't know them but then you start seeing like you could I, I just feel stupid for being duped for so long especially for all the people who were like calling it like the way it really was and the bulk of us just yeah I, anyway I'm just not gonna be supporting either of them anymore so, um, that's how I feel about that. Um, and also, it's just weird to me, like, I've had to, I've been subscribed to both of them, of course, unfollowed them both from social media, but there's also certain people I watched who were affiliated with them, and there's suspicions that they could be on the payroll. I don't, I don't personally believe they're on a payroll per se but I feel like there's some kind of like benefit like something going on behind the scenes and it's you know we all want to throw around the word biased <laughs> like there's a lot of bias going on a lot of covering up I feel a lot of deflecting going on and it's just really like disgusting to me like I feel like okay so <laughs> this is like gone beyond the whole mean girls mentality like this whole thing, especially Jeffree Star's behavior recently and like what's coming out, like whether or not Toddy's telling the whole truth or, you know, embellishing the truth or whatever the situation. And then there's the whole thing with James Charles, which I still, I'm not, I don't know fully what's going on with that. Don't really care for him much anyway. Props to him for doing that, um, what was that, the beauty influencer thing? That was good good move for him that was entertaining um I heard something about him a little I don't know hardly anything about this okay it's just a little bird in the ear talking about like something he did locally I think it was like last year in regards to music as far as I know nothing ever came of that but um maybe something in the future will come out about that I don't know but even, I just, I can't, I, I, I probably shouldn't say anything because again, there's allegations against him too and I don't know if those are true or not. If they are true, then he needs to go. If not, then I'm sorry, but just, I don't, I don't really care about him, honestly. But what I was saying with the whole Jeffree Star thing, um, he reminds me a lot of this person who was my childhood best friend we were like sisters and then as uh, it just the whole friendship was messed up and it was toxic and she was very two-faced and watching like all this stuff unfold with Jeffree Star like the whole attitude and everything reminds me so much of her but on a such a bigger more like I, dangerous skill like I feel like he is dangerous at this point because he's supposedly has all this power like I haven't it's just bizarre like this whole world of YouTube is just bizarre I guess that's the entertainment industry in general like we don't know how big the scope of things are like I, I mean I've heard things in the music industry and I've heard things in the film industry 
but I just, especially the music industry, I've heard a lot of really messed up things, and that's kind of why, like, I, part of why I didn't pursue the music business as much as I did, like, why I wasn't so, like, gung ho about, like, oh, I gotta finish my education and get my degree in music business and go on with that, like, I've kind of, like, We're not going to go into that. Anyway, um, but it's just, mm, I just, I don't know. Going forward, like, the whole beauty community, which I'm really big into, like, that's the thing I'm big into. I may not be, like, myself, like, a beauty person. I'm more like a wannabe, um, but I love makeup and everything and so I'm like watching these videos on a regular basis and watching certain people on a regular basis and now going forward I'm like how like why but it's just like I don't know it's not I used to find it so entertaining like these were the videos I would go to like watch to escape and now I'm just kind of like disgusted by it all like all these people I've watched I'm just like I what the world is messed up that's all there is to it um but yeah I and I felt like I was going somewhere else with this point but I think I'm just going to end this video now because this is stupidly long as usual um I just wanted to say that because especially because of recent videos I've made before all this started to pop off and I don't want to I don't want to support those people I don't no, I just, I don't feel right about that, and, yeah, so, I hope that there's going to be, like, some bigger people come up who are, like, good role models, like, true role models, and I guess the thing with Jeffree Star was that we kind of watched him, like, especially if you knew of him during the MySpace generation, which I knew of him, I had, like, I had downloaded one of his songs that are, from back then that I just and I still really like it but now I'm kind of like mm, like that electric sugar pop song like I used to jam to that on my iPod photo all the time um but I wasn't really like big into him until he got into YouTube like started doing the videos on YouTube and even then like it took me a while to really get into his videos and then like seeing his lifestyle like you know, learning about, like, how he, he was one of those who went from rags to riches. Like, he made himself, or he, you know, brought himself up this far. Like, that was inspiring. But now, like, what all happened behind the scenes that we don't know about that, for him to get, like, that, I just, oh, I, I just stabbed myself with my, okay, anyway. So... That's just, you know, I hope that there's going to be some more people who come up the reins who, like, are the rags to riches, but they did it, like, in a respectful, ethical, clean way, don't have drama. And if there's anybody you know of who's like that, or you feel like they're going to be like that, like, I'd like to know who they are so that I can watch them and see them grow and watch their journey as they climb the ranks to the top or hopefully they like, climb the ranks to the top in a good ethical fun way without stirring up drama <laughs> um yeah so um hope everybody's doing well and thank you for watching